Okay, well, we are in our VW right now, and as you can see from the dashboard here, we have the ABS warning light showing here. Um, so it is something that we're going to have to diagnose. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, hook it up to a diagnostic tool to find out uh, if the problem is in fact an ABS sensor. We suspect the problem is an ABS sensor, but there is of course the, uh, the possibility that there is a fault within the ABS module or the ABS pump um, as well. So we'll, uh, first of all we'll hook it up to the diagnostic tool and then we'll see if we can get this uh, fault diagnosed. Okay, so the tool we're going to use to diagnose the ABS fault is the Launch Seareader VIII, also known as the uh, CRP129. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll click on Diagnose here. Click on the Scan option. And we need to select the VW vehicle. Go into Control Modules and it's within the brake electronics, the ABS system. So the, the, the kit is just gonna try now and connect to the ABS system. And then once it's connected, we'll try and see if we can find any fault codes. Right, so it's connected now, so it's given us the option to read fault code. And there we go, it's given us a fault code of, uh, well, a generic fault code of P0122 and also a manufacturer specific fault code of 00290, uh, which states speed sensor rear left. So it looks like the rear left ABS sensor has developed a fault. Uh, so we need to change that out. And then um, once we've changed that out, uh, replace the new one, we'll come back in the vehicle, we'll erase the trouble codes and see if we can get the ABS light to remove from the dashboard. Okay, so we're on the rear left hand side of the vehicle now. Um, this is the connector for the ABS sensor. And as you can see there, you might be able to see. Uh, there it is there. Shiny new ABS sensor. So we just put that in. What we need to do now is connect it up, uh, clear the fault code, and then the ABS light should be removed from the dashboard. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now. We've just changed out the ABS sensor for the rear left hand corner. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine now just to see if the ABS light will automatically turn off. For some vehicles it does or to see if the scan tool is required to actually turn off the ABS light itself. So we'll turn on the engine right now. Well, as you can see pretty quickly there, the ABS light has gone off of its own accord. But what we do still need to do is remove the trouble codes from the system and the ABS ECU. Now what I've done there is actually click the wrong button. But we'll wait for this to connect then we'll go back into the correct section where we need to be. All right, so we need to be in the scan section. We need to hit VW. Then we need to go, to go on to control modules, brake electronics. It's just connecting to the ABS system as we speak here. Right, so what we need to do is click in clear fault code. Uh, it's asking us if you want to click uh, yes, click OK. If you want to click no, click escape. So we'll click OK to clear the fault codes. And it's telling us clear fault code has succeeded. So what we'll do in any case, we'll go back in and just click read fault code to see if the codes have been removed. Yes, no DTCs, which is diagnostic trouble codes. So the C Reader VIII or 129 as it's also known has allowed us to diagnose and reset the ABS system and of course we've changed out the ABS sensor. Uh, we wouldn't have known which sensor to change if it wasn't for the, the diagnostic scan tool that we see in front of us. 
so if you are interested in this diagnostic scan tool just click the link directly below this video and you will find it available uh, directly on the website.